Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my god. This was, I would say, the best episode ever of Boruto. Now, I did say this last week in the last episode, but this episode right here, dog, I think this was actually better than last week's episode. This gave us so much action. A lot of people were actually scared that this week was gonna be all talk and no jutsu. Everybody was like, yo, if they do the same thing that Naruto did, then I'm going to be leaving the series. I'm not watching any more episodes, but I like to tell you guys, like, yeah, it was talk no jutsu boruto did save the day by not killing sumire or knocking her out or, or killing the new or anything like that but i like to say this was the best outcome we could have ever asked for because even though the situation wasn't diffused with jutsu we seen jutsu up until the very last end i know there are some talking scenes in the middle but honestly we've seen a lot of jutsu in this episode and i will touch upon a lot of jutsu i will touch upon sumire mitsuki and all that later in the week but in this video specifically i'm going to be talking about boruto's new or updated Tensegon slash Byakugan hybrid. I'm, I actually don't know what to call it. So if you guys are mad at me for calling it Tensegon, no one knows what to call it right now. So we're just gonna give it a name that we hear a lot of people saying, I'm not gonna call it Tensegon, I'm not gonna call it Byakugan, but I'm gonna call it a hybrid. So that's what I'm gonna be calling it for the time being. So in the episode, we actually seen Boruto use it during a fight. We actually seen another use for it instead of just seeing Dark Chakra and seeing where the Dark Chakras come from. We see my boy Boruto actually get a Chakra Network and that was extremely crazy as you guys know we never seen anything like that in the last episode we seen some electricity coming from his eyes but we thought that was it we never knew that it was something else we never knew that was something more but apparently my man's actually has a chakra network but you guys know i gotta put out some differences between the actual chakra network and boruto's chakra network that we actually seen during the episode now when we talk about regular byakugans like neji's byakugan hinata's byakugan you can actually see the chakra points when they use their Byakugan. But if you guys look close, I'm going to put a picture in the video. And one, two, three, bang. Oh, that, that didn't work. I'm going to put it right now. One, two, three, bang. All right, there it goes. There it goes. So if you guys are looking at it, there you don't really see a chakra network. You kind of see where the chakra is extremely heightened. You kind of see where the chakra network is funding the most chakra but you don't actually see the chakra points now that could be a good thing that could be a bad thing honestly i think it's probably a bad thing we're not going to be able to see boruto use any 64 palms like neji would but honestly i think boruto's byakugan or tensegan hype is going to eventually develop and it's going to eventually actually get to see the chakra points but as of right now this is all the information that we have so that's the key difference between the chakra networks when we talk about the actual Byakugan and we talk about Boruto's Dojutsu or Tensegan Hyrule, whatever we're gonna call it right now. Another difference is, this is like a small difference, but usually when we talk about Byakugan, it usually when we see through the side of Byakugan, it's either like white and gray or it has like a hint of blue in it. We would see the chakra and it would be blue. But this one was actually like black and red or black and orange just got kind of color. That, that's not something huge. I'm pretty sure that somebody in the Hugo Clan actually had that color, but I just like to point that out. I actually never seen or I don't remember seeing anybody with that kind of color of Byakugan or Chakra Network that I actually seen. Maybe I think Naruto had that Chakra Network when, when he had the Nine Tails Chakra, but that's just something I wanted to point out. Another thing is how Boruto actually used it. Bro, Boruto used that Chakra Network and he utilized it like, like he'd been training with it. Like he'd been fighting with it for, since he was born or something like that. Remind you, these are academy students. I have no idea how these guys are this skilled. Boruto loves this move when he creates Shadow Clones and has one Shadow Clone in the air and throws the other Shadow Clone to the actual target and he hits the actual target. In this case, he actually hit the main Chakra Network or Chakra Point that the Chakra is being funneled through and it actually worked. The new was extremely finished he ended up trapping the new boruto was extremely skilled the boy is just a straight prodigy and that's what i love about boruto one thing i want to touch on is how boruto actually got the ability to transfer from different dimensions now i did say it last week that boruto could possibly have a comedy or he has a variation of a comedy a lot of people really didn't get that far into the video for me to actually tell him that i believe that he has a variation of the comedy not the exact comedy but i do believe he has like a kind of variation but we seen Boruto actually create that one. The new was incapacitated. He was damn near dead. Boruto actually created that one. We seen Boruto punch the wall or something like that and a portal actually created. And I did speculate in one of my last videos like, yo, are they going to be trapped? And they were trapped for like a good 30 seconds, honestly. And then they found the portal. 
But I think that Boruto had created that one specifically. Right when Boruto seen the other dimension, you heard the same sound as you hear when, when someone activates their shining on it. I'm gonna put a picture in a video. I want you guys to go back and look at it, turn the volume up or something. But you hear that exact same. Now, I'm not saying that Boruto has a shining on I'm not saying that he has a variation of shining on He has no affiliation with the Uchiha clan at all, unless there's some sort of weird stuff going on with Sasuke and Naruto and Hinata, but I doubt it. I just like to point that out. There probably might be some interesting stuff to that, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section about Boruto's use of the actual Byakugan or Tenseigan hybrid and what do you what do you guys make of the chakra network and him transferring between dimensions but let me know in the comment section below and always remember if you guys comment in the first 15 minutes with the hashtag notification squad with something funny you guys will probably be featured in the next Boruto episode but it's been your boy Barbie and we out for my city, I'm the youngest nigga rapping. Oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. Oh my god, oh my god, if I die, I'm a legend. I'm a first.